the, the Fox Soul was a, a regular, and we loved to play the Fox Soul, and we loved to play up at uh, Temple, too. Uh, there was uh, a room right on the front. I don't remember what they called it, but it, it had some cliche about the owls, you know. Remember, first time, we, we didn't have a uniform, and we thought it was important, so we used the inside of the lining of our coats and turned it inside out. We thought that was really cool. And uh, I think Jerome Hunter and Bayard Lancaster were with us, and I think uh, there's a bass player, a couple of bass players, one uh, last name Johnson, uh, Dewey Johnson's brother, uh, Dewey Johnson, the trumpet player that's on, on uh, Ascensions. And, and um, when I started playing, I was playing now with a lot more intensity because uh, the, the keys started flying off. We didn't know what was happening at first, but it, the black keys were not glued on tightly and they flew all over the place. So when we finished the piece, there were no more black keys. <laughs> at, at that time, um, we were kind of bringing the scene, the New York scene, down here like we did to Baltimore, too. Wasn't much of it, even though the people that were inspired by John Coltrane and McCoy, for example, they, they knew about it. Um, but the, the best thing about Philly then, I think, was everybody came to the concerts with their entire family. So you had uh, babies, and it's kind of like tailgating, only thing was jazz. And uh, it was okay if everything wasn't free jazz, you know. The, uh, a lot of the times it would be uh, uh, a group, an established group like the Heath Brothers, and uh, they would be on the same bill with us playing later in the evening. 